The dwarf planet Pluto is one of the most exciting celestial bodies in our neighborhood. We would like to present you with some real images of Pluto and provide you with a lot of background information and important facts about the former planet in the same breath. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel Insane of Curiosity, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Music Pluto, the former planet. For many years, Pluto was classified as a planet. Accordingly, the celestial body was also an integral part of our planetary system for a long period of time. This changed, however, in the year 2006. At that time, the professional world revised its definition of planets, which finally led to the fact that Pluto is counted since then as a dwarf planet. The celestial body, like so many other planets and moons, was named after a figure of Roman mythology. Here, the deity Pluto describes the ruler of the underworld. The first space probe that was sent into the immediate vicinity of the dwarf planet was named New Horizons. The NASA spacecraft approached Pluto at a distance of up to 12,500 kilometers during its mission, which was launched on January 19, 2006. The New Horizons was able to gather important information about the dwarf planet. The images that the space probe took of the dwarf planet show Pluto in all its galactic beauty. But what is the current state of knowledge about Pluto that we humans have? Discovery and naming. That Pluto exists with certainty is known to us humans since February 18, 1930. Although the scientists of that time suspected the existence of the celestial body already for a longer period of time, it was to take about 25 years before the expert's thesis could be substantiated with facts. By comparing numerous photographs of the sky, astronomers at the Lowell Observatory in the U.S. city of Flagstaff finally succeeded in proving the presence of our neighbor. Since the employees of this renowned research facility were the first to discover the celestial body, they also had the privilege of naming it. The fact that the dwarf planet was finally baptized the Roman god of the underworld, however, is due to the then 11-year-old Venetia Burney. The experts were so impressed by the girl's name proposal that they immediately made it official. A dwarf planet far from the sun. With an equatorial diameter of 2,374 kilometers, Pluto is significantly smaller than our Earth's moon, which has a diameter of around 3,474 kilometers. Spatially speaking, Pluto has always traveled in the so-called Kuiper Belt. This is a remote region within our solar system in which an estimated 70,000 galactic objects cavort. Pluto itself is the oldest known celestial body in the Kuiper Belt. While our blue home planet needs a year or 365 days to fully orbit the fixed star of our planetary system, Pluto needs a much longer period of time for the same undertaking. In fact, it takes an incredible 248 years before the dwarf planet has ever orbited the Sun. The days on Pluto are also much longer than on our Earth. While we define an earthly day as a period of 24 hours, a Pluto day lasts 153 hours. The spatial distance between Pluto and the Sun, which in detail amounts to about 6 billion kilometers, not only provides the giant orbit of the dwarf planet but naturally also has a direct influence on the climate of the celestial body. Because Pluto is so far away from the fixed star of our solar system, the surface of the dwarf planet will never be warmer than minus 218 degrees Celsius. If one were to look up into the sky on Pluto, the sun would not appear as a large clearly delineated disk but merely as one of the countless small stars in the firmament. The hidden heavenly body in the firmament. Since Pluto only receives very little sunlight due to its position, it's all the more difficult to recognize the dwarf planet from our Earth. In fact, it's not at all possible to locate the celestial body without technical aids. Despite this, Pluto is still the brightest known representative of the Kuiper Belt. Before a few more celestial bodies were discovered that clearly resembled Pluto in size, characteristics, and composition, researchers assumed that the former planet was originally a moon of Neptune. Today, we know that Pluto probably originated together with the Kuiper Belt which was formed from remnants that emerged during the formation of the outer planetary system. Surface and Moons Pluto is a solid celestial body whose mass consists mainly of rock and water ice. With an area of around 17.6 million square kilometers, 
Its surface is roughly the size of the South American continent. While scientists once thought that Pluto was once a moon of Neptune, we now know that the dwarf planet itself has at least five natural satellites. The largest of all Pluto moons is Charon. Before the first spacecraft reached the immediate vicinity of Pluto, several years were to pass. As we mentioned briefly, it was the NASA probe New Horizons that first took a closer look at the celestial body. In the following, we would like to inform you about the large-scale mission of the renowned space agency, the New Horizons Project of NASA. NASA's New Horizons mission is part of the overall New Frontiers program. This is a large-scale project of the world-famous space agency, over the course of which our solar system is to be explored in detail with unmanned aerial vehicles. As we briefly mentioned, New Horizons was the first probe ever to reach the close vicinity of the dwarf planet Pluto. Therefore, the mission goals that were given to the NASA space probe were all the more important. A curiosity at the edge, when the New Horizons left the Earth's surface on January 19, 2006, Pluto was still considered a full planet. Meanwhile, the new classification to the dwarf planet followed only in August of the same year. The goals of the mission New Horizons has been assigned the task of taking a detailed look at the geological features of Pluto and its moon Charon. However, mapping the surface of the dwarf planet was also a key part of the project. The atmosphere of the celestial body was also to be investigated. In addition, the New Horizons should provide mankind with high-resolution images of our neighbor for the first time. The first real images of Pluto. On April 15, 2015, the time had finally come. NASA published the first detailed photo of the dwarf planet and its moon Charon. But this was only the beginning of a series of countless images that helped scientists to understand the surface properties of the celestial body more precisely. NASA's space probe succeeded in mapping the dwarf planet and its largest moon extensively, and the missile also provided important information about the climate and the nature of Pluto. The future of New Horizons Although the NASA space probe has long since passed Pluto, the mission of the unmanned space vehicle has not yet reached its end. At present, the probe is on its way to the outermost regions of our planetary system, where it's expected to penetrate previously unexplored regions. What lies beyond Pluto? Even though New Horizons provided us with unprecedented insights into Pluto, many questions remain unanswered. Scientists believe that beneath Pluto's icy surface, there could be a subsurface ocean of liquid water. If true, this would raise fascinating possibilities about whether microbial life could exist in the extreme conditions of this distant world. The presence of such an ocean would also suggest that Pluto has more in common with icy moons like Europa and Enceladus than previously thought. Beyond Pluto, the Kuiper Belt extends far into the outer reaches of our solar system. After completing its historic Pluto flyby, New Horizons continued its journey deeper into this icy realm. In 2019, it encountered Arakoff, a mysterious, snowman-shaped object composed of primordial material left over from the early solar system. This discovery helped scientists better understand how planets and other celestial bodies formed billions of years ago. Could Pluto be reclassified as a planet? Since Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet in 2006, there has been ongoing debate about whether it should regain its planetary status. Some planetary scientists argue that Pluto meets all the criteria to be considered a full-fledged planet, particularly due to its complex geology, atmosphere, and active surface processes. Others maintain that Pluto lacks the gravitational dominance required to be classified as a planet under the current definition. The debate continues to inspire interest in Pluto, and future missions could provide more evidence to settle this long-standing argument. Future Missions to Pluto and Beyond While New Horizons gave us a glimpse into Pluto's mysteries, a future mission could explore the dwarf planet in even greater detail. Scientists have proposed a Pluto orbiter, a spacecraft that would enter orbit around Pluto and study it over an extended period. Unlike New Horizons, which only performed a flyby, an orbiter could provide long-term data about Pluto's changing atmosphere, its potential subsurface ocean, and the interactions between Pluto and its moon, Charon. Another possibility is a Kuiper Belt Explorer, designed to study multiple objects beyond Pluto, 
shedding light on the history and evolution of our solar system's outermost regions. With advancing technology, future spacecraft may even be able to land on Pluto's surface, investigating its ice mountains, frozen plains, and mysterious heart-shaped glacier up close. Such a mission would revolutionize our understanding of the dwarf planet and its place in the cosmos. The Endless Fascination with Pluto Despite its small size and great distance from the Sun, Pluto continues to captivate scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Its complex geology, dynamic atmosphere, and potential hidden ocean make it one of the most intriguing worlds in our solar system. Every new discovery about Pluto reminds us that even in the cold, distant reaches of space, there is so much more to explore and understand. The journey of discovery never ends, and as technology advances, who knows what incredible revelations await us in the future. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Pluto and the mysteries of the Kuiper Belt, don't forget to support our channel Insane of Curiosity with a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting space content. What do you think about Pluto's classification? Should it be considered a planet again? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. See you soon on our next cosmic adventure.